it is time for this week's edition of Ask Deanna. You know, each week I take a question from you, our viewers, and then I go find the answer. Here's today's question. It comes from Jim Bishop of Cuba. Now, Jim asks, I have a relic from Albuquerque Past. It's from Albuquerque Ice and Coal Company, and there's a phone number of 57. What time in this state's history did Albuquerque have a two-digit phone number? So, to get our answer, we went to the Telephone Museum of New Mexico in Albuquerque. Bet you didn't even know it's there. It's located in downtown Albuquerque. It's four stories. It houses exhibits displaying the early years of the telephone. And we took our question to Susie Turner there at the museum. And with some checking through, she confirmed what she thought all along. She says, this telephone... The Stauger gave her a good clue about the time period when Albuquerque had two-digit phone numbers. I think it's 1916. We have a replica of a telephone directory from 1916 in Albuquerque and the Tucumcari districts. So we know that the Stroger system was established in Estancia as late as 1915. And now I know that it probably took about two years to retrofit the central office in order for those phones to be able to dial without going through the operator. They still had to go through the operator for long distance, but across town, they got two digits. Isn't that cool? And they lent us their phone book so that we could look at it. And here it is on page 11 right there. It is the ICE Company, and it's number 57. And I just love this. I love old stuff, and they are just wonderful folks to help us out. We really want to thank them. And, of course, we do want to thank our friend who sent this in, and that was Jim Bishop down in Cuba. Now, here's next week. We'll answer this question, and it was sent in by William Howard of Twin Lakes. I asked him for his picture, and you can do that as well. And his question is, whatever happened to Trish Hoffman with the Albuquerque Police Department? You also might remember that Trish was involved in The Runaway Bride and became quite famous for that walk through the airport. So we'll have that for you next week. If you have a question, I'd love to work on it for you. Email me at askdiana at krqe.com. And if you can, go ahead and send your hometown, your name, and a picture. And I'd love to help you out.